Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie and I have another video for you guys. So in this video, I wanted to address the question of whether you need a bachelor's degree to apply to PA school. For those of you who are interested in applying to PA school and becoming a physician assistant, I want to address this question in this video. And I also want to talk about what bachelor degree I got when I applied to PA school. And so in general, the question is, do you need a bachelor's degree to apply to PA school? And the answer is yes, you do need a bachelor's degree to apply to PA school. Um, now, almost all schools that I know of, all schools, you they do require a bachelor's degree to apply to PA school. And the question is, well, does it matter what type of bachelor's degree you need to apply to get it? To PA school or to get accepted into PA school and from my experience and for what I learned from my um, classmates and asking fellow professors it doesn't really matter what type of bachelor's degree you have when you apply to PA school as long as you have the prerequisites now some schools are very specific though and they do specifically state that they require a type of science bachelor but from my knowledge or my understanding, most schools don't really care what type of bachelor's degree you have as long as you have a bachelor's degree. So my advice would be to choose a degree that you enjoy. Um, that way you can get a higher GPA and increase your chance of getting accepted into PA school. So also, another thing that I do recommend is if you can, if you try to, if you can try to choose a science degree, that way this will help you in PA school. Although, to be honest with you guys, some of my classmates um, did not get a, a bachelor's in science. Um, I have a fellow student, actually one of my classmates, he is the president of our class, and he actually studied banking. He was a banker for several years before getting accepted into PA school, so I thought that was really interesting. Um, I have another classmate also that did business, etc. So it really doesn't matter what type of bachelor's degree you have as long as you have the prerequisites. Now, the prerequisites vary for every school, but it's usually consistent that they require the basic science classes like biology one and two. Um, you have your general chemistry classes, organic chemistry classes. I know for some PA schools, they only require OCHEM one. Uh, but for me, I took or organic chemistry one and two, and then I took biochemistry also. The reason why I took it is because my degree required it. And then also I wanted to apply to more schools and some schools did want organic chemistry one and two and biochemistry. So that's why I wanted to be safe and make sure that I had these classes. That way I can apply to more schools. And like I always say, the more schools that you apply to, the higher chance you have of getting accepted into PA school. But it really depends on the applicant, on yourself, on, when, on whether you're willing to move out of town to go to PA school. And that was my case. I was willing to go anywhere um, as long as I got accepted into PA school. Being that I had applied twice, the first time I applied to PA school, I didn't get accepted. And so I applied the second time and I made it a goal to apply earlier and apply to more schools in comparison to my first application. So I applied to a lot more schools out of the state of Texas since that's where I'm from is the state of Texas. So yes, you do need a bachelor's degree. Now, whether it is science, it really doesn't matter, guys. If you guys like kinesiology, there was a PA I work with. She did her bachelor's in kinesiology, she thought she wanted to do physical therapy, and then she learned about the physician assistant um, profession, and she decided to go that route also, and she got accepted into PA school. And so I have also uh, classmates that were dietitians before, they got your, their bachelor's in that. Um, I have another uh, classmate who got her bachelor's, and I actually interviewed her also in my videos. She got her bachelor's in um, clinical lab science, and she is, doing great in PA school, all that experience helped her out a lot in PA school. And I'm very jealous of her because she she's just naturally smart and she'll read something and she'll grasp it versus myself who has to read it over and over again and I don't grasp it until the second time. But 
as you can see, there is a large range of degrees. Um, masters now, you do, don't need a master's degree to get accepted into PA school. Um, it, it will make you a more competent um, applicant when applying to PA school. I have a few students in my class who did get a master's before applying to PA school and it has helped them out a lot, specifically if they got their master's in science or anything that's healthcare related, and it has helped them out a lot um, in the PA school classes. So you can get a master's degree if you'd like, and it can make you a more competent applicant for PA school. But to be honest, you guys, this is just my advice. Um, the more experience you have working in the medical field, I think that will help you out more. Whether it is working as a medical assistant, you'll get that interaction with patients. Whether it is working as a dietitian, like my classmate, uh, you get to learn about how to treat, for example, uh, diabetic patients. What foods can they eat? Um, the vitamin deficiencies, etc. And that's going to help you a lot in PA school. Uh, whether it is an EMS, EMT, etc. The more healthcare experience you have, the better, I think, it will prepare you for PA school and the better applicant it will make you for PA school in my experience. Um, as for my background, I worked as an emergency room registrar. So I worked in the ER collecting insurance information and I got a lot of exposure to basically what working in the emergency room is, what working alongside physicians and physician assistants is. And it was a really good experience. I worked uh, I worked there for about five years and I worked in an urgent care as a medical assistant. So it was a really good experience. I wish I would have worked more as a medical assistant. I had more experience because I felt like I gained a lot more hands-on experience. And I think it would have helped me out a lot more in PA school. But regardless, if I would have known this information before I applied to PA school, I would have done it. So that's why I'm talking about that now. So overall, bachelor's, you do need a bachelor's degree. You can get a master's degree. It will make you a more competent applicant, but it's not necessary. And it can help you also in PA school and to be able to excel in your classes. But I really think that having a bachelor's and having medical experience or patient care experience is the key um, to being a good applicant in P for PA school. and the key for making you a good student in PA school. So that's just my experience um, from what I've learned. You know, other students can say something else, but I just wanted to talk about that in this video. All right guys, well thanks for watching my videos. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to comment below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.